Hello, and welcome to my series on cybersecurity risk management. In this episode, we're going to look at the four fundamental strategies that can be used to address risk. The first strategy is avoid. Avoid means discontinuing the activity that would make you incur the risk. This is the simplest strategy, but potentially the most costly since you completely eliminate any benefit of the activity. The avoid strategy can work well for risks that would result in catastrophic failure if incurred, which cannot be reasonably addressed by any other strategies. The second strategy is control. With the control strategy, you continue to perform the activity while putting controls in place to mitigate or reduce the risk of the activity. Common cybersecurity controls include firewalls, intrusion detection systems, antivirus, and policies. It is difficult to mitigate all risk associated with an activity. Any risk that remains after controls have been applied is known as residual risk. The third strategy is accept. Accepting risk means you continue to perform the activity with no mitigations in place, but only after a conscious decision has been made to do so. The conscious decision is informed by analyzing the various risk components before proceeding. This strategy can work well when the cost of addressing the risk with one of the other strategies is greater than the cost of incurring the risk. Note that this is significantly different than ignoring risk. Accepting risk is a conscious decision to acknowledge the risk and move forward in spite of it. Ignoring risk simply assumes that there is no risk or that it is insignificant. And it is a way of procrastinating and not making a decision. Ignoring risk and the risk management process generally leads to one of two negative outcomes. The first is catastrophic failure, where you inadvertently accept more risk than you would have had you truly understood it. The second is missed opportunity, where you avoid an activity because you believe the risk is too high, even though in actuality it might not be. Either way, Failing to properly manage risk can have a significant cost to your organization and operations. The fourth strategy is transfer. The transfer strategy does not reduce the overall risk, but it does move ownership of the risk to another entity. This is typically done in the form of an insurance policy or a cooperative. While it is fairly straightforward to purchase insurance for traditional risk categories, Doing so for cyber risk can be a challenge due to its novelty and dynamics. There you have it, the four risk management strategies. You do not have to choose just one strategy when determining how to address a risk. For example, if you are addressing the risk of a fire in your data center, you may choose to control the risk by installing a fire suppression system and also transfer the remaining risk by purchasing a fire insurance policy. I call this the hybrid strategy. Combining multiple strategies gives you more options and can make your approach more efficient and effective. This matrix can be used as a, as a starting point when trying to determine how to manage a particular risk based on likelihood and impact. The avoid strategy is useful for risks that are high likelihood and high impact. The control strategy may be appropriate for risks that are high likelihood but low impact. The accept strategy tends to be appropriate for risks that are low likelihood and low impact. Finally, the transfer strategy is often applied to risks that are low likelihood and high impact. Note that the matrix is simply a starting point. It is not prescriptive. Each risk needs to be fully analyzed before determining the best strategy to address it. 